Hi guys, it's Amber from Amber Eats Books and I'm here today to do the Reading Habits book tag. I was kindly tagged by Jordan from Jordan Larie. I absolutely adore her channel. I enjoy her personality. Her hair is so fantastic. I wish I had the courage to dye my hair the color of hers because I just love it so, so much. I just don't think it would look the same on me, but I absolutely admire it and I admire her. And if you have not checked out her channel, please go and do so. I will also link the original creators down below as well. Question number one, do you have a certain place at home for reading? I normally, for the most part, probably read in my living room. I, like Jordan said, am a mom, so a lot of the times we don't get the luxury of being able to hole up in like our bedroom or whatever to, to read quietly and peacefully. It's normally reading while the kids are doing something else. So yeah, for the most part, I read in my living room. Um, I do occasionally read at the dining room table um, once in a while. In the summer, I absolutely love, 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 love reading outside of my back deck. It is probably the highlight of, you know, those warmer months for me. Anytime it is warm enough, I am out there reading. Um, the only time I can't read outside, well, obviously if it's bad weather, but also if it's really windy. I don't know why, but it bugs me so much because my pages just keep flying all over the place and it really annoys me, so I end up coming inside. But um, for the most part, it's either my living room or in those warmer months outside on the back deck. Question number two, bookmark or random pieces of paper? Okay, now back in the day, and I'm talking a few years ago, ever since I was a child uh, on to a few years ago, I used to dog ear the pages. I, I don't know why, I just did it, and now like I can't stand it. Now my daughter does it, and I'm like, you monster, don't do that to your book. But for the most part, I really enjoy using bookmarks. So I have three that I've been using the most. I have this one, which is beautiful, it has trees all over it. And I love trees and nature. And I love this quote, it says, trees are poems that earth writes upon the sky um, by Khalil Gibran. I love trees, like so much so that my bedroom, when we eventually redo it, I want to have pictures of trees. Um, I wanna do it in like a sage green color and just have trees all over the place. Like I love, love, love trees. I just think they're beautiful and majestic and I love photographing them. I have so many on my, um, my personal Instagram that's linked down below. So if you want to go check them out, please do. But yeah, this is one of my absolute favorites. Another one of my favorites is this one that I just got a couple of months ago. I just love the colors. I love the gray with the bright pops of color in it. I use this one quite often as well because my tree one is starting to get a little worn. And then um, for Christmas, my husband and kids got this bookmark for me and I am using it for really big books. And that is, I like big books and I cannot lie. So any book that is 500 pages or over, I'm using this bookmark for. Um, I have a few other bookmarks. I have a whole container of them. I do have like a metal bookmark that they got me with a quote on it that I really love too. Uh, it just doesn't stay in the book as well as these paper ones do. So I use these quite often. Question number three. Can you just stop reading or do you have to stop after a chapter or certain amount of pages? I do not want to just stop reading. I am a religious stop at the end of a chapter kind of a person. So when a book has super, super, super long chapters, it really annoys me because I can't always stop at the end of the chapter. I have to find a break in the writing somewhere and stop there. Um, obviously, if I have something to do, if it's an emergency or, or I just have to stop right at that minute, I can stop in the middle of the chapter. Um, but do I want to? No. Question number four, do you eat or drink while reading? Probably um, drink more than eat. I definitely, you know, drink water. Sometimes I will be drinking tea. Um, eating, I only eat while reading occasionally, and that's if I'm reading it while I'm actually sitting at the dining room table, like eating breakfast or lunch. Like if no one's home, I'll, I'll eat lunch and read my book at the same time. Um, but normally I don't really eat that often while I'm reading. Uh, that's more rare than anything else. But drinking, obviously I do. Sometimes I should drink more. Sometimes I get so wrapped up in the story that I forget, oh, you haven't drank in an hour. <laughs> Maybe you should have something because I'm just not big on drinking in general. I have to kind of push myself to drink the required amount of water every single day. So it is definitely something that I need to work on. Question number five, multitasking, music or TV while reading? 
Now, a few years ago, I used to be able to have the TV on or have music on and be able to read no problem. Within the last like year, maybe year and a half, I've had such a hard time concentrating when other things are going on around me. I don't know if it's just I'm getting older, my brain is getting more frazzled, I just can't concentrate as well. So normally I cannot have TV or music on. I, I like quiet while I'm reading. However, if my husband is playing video games or if he is watching a football game, which if it's not the Patriots playing, I could care less. So if he's watching another football game, I can read while doing that because I'm not concentrating on it. I'm concentrating solely on my book. Um, but yeah, otherwise, not really. I mean, maybe classical music I could do, but not anything with a lyric, not anything that I know because my brain will just start singing along to the song and not concentrate on what I'm reading. So normally no music or TV. Question number six. One book at a time or several at once? Now I've kind of had this discussion before. When I do several books at once, I just cannot concentrate well. It does not work for me. Um, so definitely more one book at a time. Though I've just recently gotten into some audiobooks, so I could maybe do an audiobook and another book at the same time because audiobook would be solely for when I'm doing things um, around the house and then the other book would be for when I'm actually able to sit down and concentrate on reading. So that would be the only time I would do more than one book at once right now. Sometimes when I'm doing a buddy read I can do a buddy read book and another book um, but it's getting harder and harder to do that so that will definitely be something I'll have to think about more in the future as far as buddy reads goes. Question number seven, reading at home or elsewhere? I do the majority of my reading at home, um, though during my work day, I do have a 15 minute period in the afternoon between my high school run and my elementary school run um, where I can fit in 15 minutes of reading. I really enjoy those 15 minutes because it is the quiet before, the calm before the storm, so to say, because when those elementary school kids get on, they are wired and loud and ready to go. So it is my 15 minutes to kind of get me centered and to, to concentrate on something that I really enjoy before I have to deal with the insanity of that time. So mostly at home though, mostly the majority of it is at home. Question number eight, reading out loud or silently in your head? Definitely silently in my head wins out most of the time. Um, the only time I read out loud is if I'm having trouble getting into a book or quieting my thoughts so I can concentrate. If my thoughts are just rambling and I'm finding myself not being able to read because I'm reading the same sentence six times because my mind won't get off of my to-do list for later, um, I will start to read out loud because it forces my thoughts and my, my, the moving of my mouth to concentrate on that, it forces me to focus on what I am reading. So sometimes I will read out loud, but for the most part, I read silently in my head because I'm much faster when I do that. Question number nine, do you read ahead or even skip pages? If it is a book that I'm enjoying, no, I will not. If it is a book that I am not enjoying or if it's going really slow, sometimes I will start to skim the pages. If I find that the book is something that I just don't know if I will even want to finish, I sometimes do skip ahead a little and I will read some more to see if the direction of the book changes at all or if it seems to be the same the same course that it is set on. So sometimes I will skip ahead, sometimes I will skip some pages, um, but those are only books that I'm not enjoying. If I'm really enjoying a book, it keeps my attention so I don't have to skip, I don't have to look ahead. I, I don't want to know what's coming, I don't know want, want to know what's going to happen, so I won't do that. So different scenarios, it's not a one or the other type of thing for me. Question number 10, breaking the spine or keeping it like new? I mean, I would prefer to keep it like new, but there are some of those books sometimes that you can't read comfortably unless you kind of bend that spine back a little. I mean, I have tried to keep all of my spines looking like they're in good condition, but they are books, they're meant to be read. So sometimes you gotta crack the spine if you wanna be able to read it comfortably. And I don't really feel guilty about that. Question number 11, do you write in your books? I, I won't say that I actually write in them like words or anything. I don't jot anything down in them while I am reading. Um, I'm not huge at putting marks in the books, but very uh, occasionally I will 
underline or highlight a quote or something that I thought was very good and really memorable. I think I want to start tabbing things, um, but I think I'm going to start saving that for books that I reread because when you, when I go through a book the first time, I'm just so invested in in soaking up that story that sometimes I'm not looking for those quotes and those passages that I really enjoy. Um, I'm not thinking to tab them, but on a second go round, I'm a little bit more relaxed and a little bit more um, into the reading and I can take my time and not focus so much on the story, but focus on, on the words that I'm actually reading. So then I, I think I might go back and start tabbing things. I don't really want to write so much in the book, but definitely tabbing or or something like that. But like I said, I have occasionally taken out that pen and underlined something or I have highlighted something. So once in a grand while, but I don't actually write words or anything in the book. Question number 12 is who do you tag? I just tag anyone who wants to do this. This tag is kind of an older tag. Um, I've seen it around booktube all over the place. So I don't know who's done it and who hasn't. If you have not done it and you would like to do it, definitely go right ahead. I'll tag you, no problem. Um, I just didn't know who did or who didn't do it. So I just didn't want to be redundant and be tagging people that would be like, oh, I already did it. So if you have not, have at it. So that concludes the Reading Habits book tag. I had so much fun doing that, actually. It's, it's nice to kind of sit back and examine your reading habits and to see what you do differently from other, other booktubers and other people just in life. Um, so it is, it's a lot of fun to kind of kind of compare yourself and to see where you where you stand in that realm. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great week and happy reading.